Uh, the second video tutorial just uh, aims to show you the process of creating a building, adding uh, fenestration elements to it, and then uh, doing the natural and the mechanical reporting. Right, at this stage uh, we're working with the version uh, 109 of SansCalc, and uh, it's a standalone application that is um, database uh, driven. Um, it's now file based and which means that you can open a file which contains your buildings and uh, you can obviously save it, close it and uh, you know save it as. Um, at this stage you'll see everything is greyed out. Uh, obviously the reason is that there isn't a, a database loaded. You can either open uh, a database if you've got an existing one, we don't, so I'll go and say new. Clicking on the new you'll uh, create a new um, file perhaps the, the project name you'll put in here. Um, you'll notice it's a .db file extension. I'm going to save this into an area on my hard drive and you'll notice that uh, all these buttons have now um, appeared as well as the project name at the top uh, so you can see which file you are working with. Um, within that file I'm going to add a building uh, clicking on the, the button over here, add a building. Um, this is the building name which you can edit uh, giving it a, a specific name, either i.e. Uh, admin building or um, uh, hospital east wing, west wing and so on. Right, I can add another building and so on. Um, for this building one, I'm going to just add a story, um, perhaps another story, um, and uh, this one um, I'm going to just uh, rename to ground story. Right, I'm going to focus uh, on that story for now, populating it with uh, fenestration elements. Um, at this stage, this building um, could be in a specific area in South Africa and uh, based on the SANS documents, I need to um, apply a climate zone to this building. Now, I can either select it from the um, drop-down list or from the map and uh, I just pick basically my city and then um, that then gets uh, added and my building is placed in that um, climate zone. Um, right, so now focusing on that story, I'm going to add a room element um, depicting the uh, usable floor area for this uh, uh, story. Right, I'm going to just name it and then typically work from left to right. Uh, pressing tab, I'll go to the next um, cell and tab, I'll go to the next cell and tab and uh, then everything is uh, completed. This, this is allowable uh, s conductance and allowable solar uh, heat cane for this um, specific area and the zone. Right, I'm going to add another element to showing you a variation of this. Uh, this is maybe room 2. It's, say it's a circular room, I'm not going to add a width or a, a length. I'm simply going to just go in and add an area if it's a circular uh, room. Right, now um, that done, I can go over to the, the window uh, or the fenestration um, elements and add it to that story. Either by uh, adding elements to the window, um, glazed windows, glazed doors or glazed walls. Right, all three are fenestration elements. It's just subdivided here um, for, for simplicity. Right, I'm going to go and uh, add a, a window element, giving it a unique um, not uh, unique but uh, identifier and then um, I'm going to skip the facade. The facade comes into play in the mechanical uh, which I'll describe just now. The height is critical here because it uh, influences the, the, the H value which is used later on. Now I'm going to add the width for this fenestration element and the, the area gets calculated based on those two values. The shading is if this um, fenestration element is shaded 100% of the time with a shading device, then you can click uh, that uh, button and the pH will then turn into 2. This stage I'm going to untick it and then um, carry on uh, moving to the right. The G value is the vertical distance from the top of the fenestration to the underside of the shading device or the overhang. I'm going to make that uh, 0.44 and if that exceeds um, 0 0.5 or 500 millimeters, then pH gets halved as well. Right, the p value is the horizontal distance uh, from the uh, fenestration element to the extent of the overhang or um, 
penetrating device. I'm going to make that 0 0.9 meters. Um, the H and the pH gets calculated. Uh, the H is based on the height and the G value. The pH is the P value uh, divided by H. Um, then these two columns here is uh, defining the material that's used with this uh, fenestration element and uh, I can either say it's single clear or um, I can say that the glass is a custom uh, glass and there I can then add my uh, custom U and solar heat cane um, values for this um, glazing element. Um, obviously that's typically from the manufacturer specs you would get those values. Right, at this stage I'm just going to um, select the this, uh, single clear aluminium. These values get um, ported from the uh, SANS documents, uh, the one table in the um, the orientation here I can go and set to say south and uh, I'll have a south oriented um, the fenestration element. Alright, um, so at this stage that's basically um, you would just then add additional elements to depending how many windows you have. I'm going to just save this and uh, for now I'm going to just go to the report just to show you the reporting and uh, going into the, um, the the building that I uh, require I'm going to exclude the mechanical ventilation because at this stage I haven't looked at that. I'll show you just now um, how to create uh, that. Right, this is the front page which you also have an option to exclude. Um, page 1 is over here, page 2 and 3. So page 3 is obviously the story 2 which we haven't looked at. Right, I'm going to focus on the ground story. Um, before I look at the, the data here, you can either uh, print this document or um, export it to PDF, Excel um, or uh, an image and then uh, add it to your submission documents. Right, just focusing on the information here. Um, the initial check is based on the floor area, the usable floor area and my glazing and if that ratio is um, less than 15% then you don't have to do the calculations. If it's more than 15% then you have to do the calculations. Right, um, in any case here is the natural environmental control check and um, just to explain this, this is the allowable uh, conductance and the allowable solar heat gain and uh, the bottom values here is what my window currently uh, have. So um, the conductance of that window and the solar heat gain, again, if these values exceed the top ones, then it will become uh, non-compliant. So you'll need to keep it below that uh, allowance. Right, going back now to the, um, the, f the windows and the uh, mechanical ventilation, You'll notice uh, each fenestration element will be linked to a facade. This facade um, I can just add by going and adding a facade. Um, typically if you've got a square or rectangular building you'll have four facades and you would name them uniquely. South one, north one, east one and perhaps west. Right, so um, the reason why they're unique is that uh, if you've got, because uh, each window needs to be assigned to a facade. Uh, for instance, uh, if you've got a U-shaped building facing north, you might have three north-facing facades um, and each needs to be uh, have a unique name. Right, just carrying on here um, with the height tool here. Um, our, my story height is perhaps 2.6 meters. Now instead of adding each one of those uh, 2.6, I can multi-select it by selecting the first, holding down shift, selecting the last and then here at the top you've got the multi-select um, area and this is the uh, multi-select for the story height, these for the G and P values and the glazing which I'll show later on. Right, so the, I'm going to say 2.6 is my story height and I'll click apply. It'll then apply to my selection and uh, c complete uh, that. Right, I'm going to say that's 10 meters, the north and south, um, and then say 4 meters um, on, uh, on the east and west side. Right, that gives me the allowance uh, or allowable energy um, for the um, mechanical ventilation. Um, then going to the windows, I now need to assign this uh, fenestration element to a facade. Now you do that, uh, currently it's a south facade, or south facing, so over here, I can just say, right, this one needs to uh, just go to the south. Um, 
and uh, it'll get us south over here. Now say for instance I've got another window that's uh, north facing, this is window 2, um, as soon as I now reach that point there, I can go and say this is north and north 1, and it'll be completed in there. Um, over here I say uh, I'm going to give the same value um, as the first, alright, single clear, and uh, aluminium. Alright, and that gets uh, completed, and I can again uh, carry on like that, or uh, just at this stage, I'm just going to save, and then just look at the report, just to explain the reporting on um, the mechanical ventilation, which is uh, I'm going to include. So I've got preview. Over here, looking at the, the, the ground story, um, that is just updated uh, as well as that. And here at the bottom, um, I'm just going to look at my uh, north and south facades, um, the, in, the two in ones here. Um, the, the top value is my glazing, uh, and the bottom value is the allowable uh, energy index. Um, so at this stage, the 5.7 is the allowable, and mine is um, uh, 1. Right, so that's the energy uh, for, uh, for my glazing. Right, the aggregate energy. And um, if, if that obviously the 1 exceeds the the allowable, then this facade will become non-compliant and your whole uh, mechanical ventilation reporting will become uh, non-compliant. Right, so that's uh, about uh, what I will uh, have for this video. In the next video, we'll look at uh, how to import Revit, uh, the elements from Revit, and it will then uh, populate these fenestration elements uh, from the, uh, the Revit drawing, uh, saving you additional time. Right, thank you very much. And, um,